too big for me They said they ain't got no cure But I can stand no more So I went down to a &E. Let's make it fit the backspacer. So as you can see, I've laid out a paper pattern on a piece of the steel that I made the blade out of. It's the same thickness of the blade. So later when I add washers, I'll have to shim it or I'll have to make a different backspacer, but I like starting this way. So I just laid it out, glued it on, and took it over to the bandsaw and cut it out. Now my piece of steel wasn't quite as long as I needed it to be for my pattern, so I just adjusted a little bit and uh, marked for holes, center punched them, and got ready to drill them through. Now here's the drill I'm drill bits, some of the drill bits I'm using. I'm gonna be tapping holes for uh, threads and I'm using a 172 um, tap. And so you can see I have a number 53 and a number 50 drill uh, to drill um, for tapping and pass through. So for every tap size, there's a corresponding drill bit um, that you need to use. And you can look this up on the internet um, on a tapping guide. So I just took it over the drill press and used the number 53 drill bit, which is for 172 threads, and uh, drilled through the spacer, back spacer. And um, I'll drill through the other parts with this bit as well. So the little trick I use to get this uh, aligned properly is just to put the backspacer on where I want it and then use a pair of vice grips to uh, clamp it together pretty firmly and then uh, go back over to the drill press and I'll transfer these holes onto the titanium liner and drill through them. Um, I start out drilling everything with the smallest bit and then we'll enlarge the holes I need to later. Then I use um, the other liner, put the other liner in place and put a pivot in and get it lined up and put a vice grip on it again. And now I'm going to drill through this liner and the backspacer and get the holes going into the other liner. This way they'll be nice and straight. After that I get the backspacer, take it over to the drill press and I use another drill bit that's a little bit bigger and drill through the holes. I do this also um, so that the screws will push right through with clearance and not bind. After that, um, I'm ready to countersink. That's what you see in the drill bit, bit there. Sorry for the poor quality video. I was using my phone and kind of holding it under my chin. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm countersinking the holes on the opposite liner. And this will make the uh, screws that I'm using fit flush because the scales are going to go on top of this and uh, it needs to be nice and flat. So we're going to be using little machine screws. These are the sizes 172. And you can see that um, they're Phillips head and they've got, um, they're for countersunk holes so these will sit flat down inside. And I have a tap wrench you can see here. I have a new uh, tap inside of it. And this is really tiny, but um, this whole folder is going to be held together with little machine screws. So after putting some oil on the tap, I'm just getting the pieces ready and uh, making sure that I'm tapping correctly. I'll be going down through uh, just one of the liners. And so I'm just starting this carefully and you can see I'm just eyeballing it but holding it real steady and keeping it perpendicular at 90 degrees, 90 degree angle to the liner. And I'm turning very carefully using lots of oil. And the moment I feel any kind of resistance, I'm going to back the tap up because with taps this small, you can twist them off and break them off into a screw hole, and they're just so tough to get out of titanium. And uh, sometimes you just have to make a new scale. Um, so you just do this very, very carefully, keeping it straight. And again, any resistance, and you're going to back up, just like screw it in and screw it out and screw it in and screw it out until you get a smooth cut with nice threads. Um, I want this to really be straight. I want it to be flat and fit together real well because this uh, folder is held together completely by little machine screws like this. So all of the holes are tapped right now and it's ready to go together. So um, I'm going to go ahead and position it 
and then screw it together with these little machine screws. So as you can see, that fits real nice, um, just like that. Now I'm going to take a little screwdriver and just screw the first screw in. And it feels good. It feels like the threads cut really nicely through the titanium. I screw these in carefully too so that I don't um, accidentally cross thread these little screws and it um, looks real good. You can see the screws are protruding out, um, they're longer than my folder and I'm just going to clip those off um, and then just like right there and then just sand them flat. Hey, looks like a knife. I didn't show you the process of drilling out a hole for the stop pin, but I just put another paper pattern on, drilled that out, and I stuck a 1 8 inch hardened steel dowel through the titanium liners, and that's going to function as the stop pin. And you can see there how those countersunk Phillips head screws look really good. It's nice and flush and um, be nice for scales to lay over the top of it. And I also clipped off the screws and sanded them down flat, pretty flush. I left them a little bit longer because I will probably shim this spacer rather than make another one. And so you can see they're sticking out a little bit. And that's just so when I shim it, they'll still, I can use the same screws still. So as you can see, it looks pretty functional. It won't close properly yet because the flipper is bumping against um, the stud in the back when I close it. So the blade doesn't go completely down to the handle, as you can see. And I'm just going to take it apart now. And I won't show you this operation, but I'm just going to um, very simply grind a little bit of metal off right there so that the pin is recessed. And when it closes, that'll allow the blade to set down into the handle. Real simple operation, you just got to do it really carefully, not take too much off. And so, um, already, this is what's fun, it's, you know, looking and feeling like a knife. And um, I'll make sure that I can close it. Okay, so I ground that off. And um, I just gave you a little bit of a close-up here. You can see there's still material that needs to be ground off um, of the tang and, and angle ground so that this will uh, lock up. Um, but now the knife will close fully, and you can see the blade sits down in the handle in the position that it'll be when it's done. So I'm real happy with this. Um, it's looking good, and it's, it's fun. You can see um, kind of a close-up again of how those screws look. The backspacer needs to be ground down, but I won't mess with that until I put scales on and get that ready. Closes really nicely, feels good, and... Um, uh, well, it doesn't really want to flip open yet because uh, there's no washers in there, but um, this is going to be a neat knife. The blade's going to have a real slim profile, and ergonomics of it are great. fits in my hand, and uh, I think this is going to be a great knife. There's a man in the glass I barely recognize He doesn't look like me But there's something round the eyes They put me in a room And I made a deal with God